Software Spring Presence How to use rows and columns in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on rows and columns functions. Here is an intro to rows and columns. Rows, returns the count of rows, in the specified array or range. Columns, returns the count of columns, in the specified array or range. Rows and columns functions, have the same attribute. Let's look at the formats of the rows and columns function formulas. Here are the examples. Range, is the spreadsheet area, in which to get the count of rows or columns. Alright, here is an objective of using the rows and columns functions. To get the count of rows and columns in the specified ranges. Moving forward, let's type the rows function formula. First, type equal to, R, O, and select rows. For range, select the desired spreadsheet area. Press Enter. There you go. Rose has returned the count of rows in the specified range. Tip. Rows or column functions can be particularly helpful in large spreadsheets. Nest these functions inside another function like index, for tasks, such as extracting a cell value at a particular location. For example, to extract data and rows, above the last cell in column S, assuming end value changes, and is in cell H2, ranges A2 to S403, the formula is Now, let's type the columns function formula. Type equal to, C, O, L, and select columns. For range, select the desired spreadsheet area. Press Enter. OK. Columns has returned the count of columns, in the specified range. Quick review. Rows function, returns the count of rows in the specified range. Columns function, returns the count of columns in the specified range. Rows and column functions, each have the same attribute. Rows and column functions can be more powerful, when nested inside another function like index. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.